Hi everyone, Starfang here. And we're at the lovely yet barren orchard park here in Ogden. You can see <clears throat> an LES church there. Public bathrooms down there. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, there's a lot of wide open space here, which would probably be good for like uh, football, soccer, parties. I'm not even going to bother to really fucking raid it. I'm going to assume and hope that it's under development and, and they're going to be putting more stuff in. <clears throat> like uh, at least a place for the kids to play and maybe some designated walking areas. Um, I, I, you know, the trees there are nice. Green grass, that's nice. Um, I don't know. It's like when I think, when I write parks, I write like all the stuff you can do and it's really mostly just walking or sitting. Or go to church, right there. This has got to be a fucking joke. Please help keep parks clean. Welcome to Ogden City's Orchard Park. There's literally nothing here. <laughs> There's literally nothing here. Was it at one point an actual orchard? In time? So this bathroom unit here looks new. That they're installing. And they're doing the groundwork for the plumbing. Look at that, they're both handicap accessible and non-binary. Isn't that amazing? It means if you're feeling like a woman or you're feeling like a man, you can use either. And that's not me talking smack, that's me being, um, that's me being open hyma, open-minded. This is so fucking sad and pathetic. <laughs> oh. I mean, there's a lot of space to, like, run. I guess bring your dog here. But, um... Yeah, I mean, as far as parks go, you really have to kind of supply your own entertainment with this one. It's nice and clean, probably because nobody uses it. So that's a plus. Um, if they were to keep it <clears throat> as is and just say it's like a running park or a football park, <clears throat> um, obviously it's not a multi-use park that I usually critique. So I'd probably give it like a solid 3, 3.5 or 4 or whatever because it's... I mean, it's nice looking. It's not trash or anything. But um, I just wanted to film that while I was in the area. <laughs> I might, I might do an update if they, if they, uh, if they add more stuff to it. So I am over at Marshall White Park in Ogden still, and this has just been a funny day. We came from. Um, we came from, uh, is that fence electrified? Are you sure? Did you touch it to find out? <laughs> so they're doing something. This whole park has been, they have a proximity fence built like all the way around it. And I don't know how long it's been up for, so residents can't even use it. They're probably going to put condos here. They probably said, oh, we did a land swap, which what, what other property has space around here to fit a whole park? 
So I would have liked to have gone in and walked the uh, perimeter of the park and filmed, but as you can see, BHI in the city he just pulls water out of nowhere. Has it um, encircled. You can see over here, we'll walk back over there and get a closer look. I just wanna walk around here. And you can see there's a path there that you could walk. It looks like there's a little baseball field area there, a fence there. They won't even let you play basketball, so I'm thinking they're tearing the whole thing down. That's what I'm thinking. They're probably going to put fucking condos here. They'll tear those trees down, put condos in. Real sad. Real, real, real sad. no trespassing and there's already a condo or apartment building next to it but that's an old building so I doubt anything they're gonna build today and they might even tear that down and just build like you know the new ones that they've been doing because I want to there's that bug this bug was mocking me <clears throat> because uh, I couldn't get through, obviously, because there's a fence and it goes right through the fucking chain link. I mean, I hope everything I'm saying is just speculation. That's not the case, that they're tearing all of it down. And um, I hope maybe they're just like make it, making it more accessible. And they just don't want people in it while they're working. But even with uh, Clinton Park, down in Clinton Meadows Park, when they were working on it during COVID in 2020 or 2021, they didn't block off like the whole park. I think they just put up a fence around the area they were working. So I think this park's gonna be gone. In the next few years, it's gonna be replaced with more condos because they're looking at it and thinking, this basketball area, this is prime real estate. That's what the city's thinking. Selling it to developers you know, so they can develop it and turn around and make money. And, uh... Yep, the basketball court. So they could have even left the basketball court open and just... Um... Yeah, these are all going to be condos because what was over on the opposite side? Was this the rest of the park? over here water pollution yeah this is going to be all condos this is all going to be fucking condos Marshall and White Community Center so that's going to go over here what the fuck's going to go over there condos Don't you all ever get sick of not having a voice or not saying anything and then they make a decision for you? Having your parks and uh, local culture and heritage taken from you because the city decides that it's um, more beneficial. So instead of having this local park here to use, you'll have to walk up several blocks, like almost a mile, to go to, to, to Orchard Park, which has nothing. It doesn't even have a basketball court. 
So if in a few years this place is still here, um, the park is still here, the courts are still here, okay, that's fine. But I'm not gonna hold my breath. So hopefully you guys in Ogden will still have a park here in a few years time when the community center is finished. <clears throat> Filming here in Ogden again. And I think this is Liberty Park. Beautiful view of the mountains. There's tennis courts. A big field. Right here you can play soccer. There's you can play basketball, but that's part of the school. Not the uh, actual park proper. So, I don't want to get anybody on film, so I'm walking through here. I might have been through this park before, but I didn't really seriously film. I don't think I could be wrong. I think I've been through here before last year, but I didn't really film. There's the tennis courts. Over here. The soccer net. The goalies or whatever. Basketball court. <clears throat> um, so it's kind of sparsely populated with trees. Gorgeous fucking view of the mountains. I mean, just look at that. I think when I filmed the last time it was in fall or winter and I don't think, I don't even have a proper park entry for here, I don't think. So it won't even really matter. So there's the park entrance sign, one of them at least. I just have the netting on them, which is weird. <clears throat> so, we've got It really does smell like dog shit over here, though. <laughs> you okay, man? <laughs> Liberty Park. Liberty Park. Liberty, Liberty. Liberty Park. Not Liberty Mutual. Liberty Park. So it's a nice park. I think there were some kids over there at the uh, play area. And I don't want to film him. He's trailing behind because I snapped at him for interrupting me. So, as far as the location goes, I mean, you can tell it's here. It's right next to a big school. Um, plenty to do. Seems like it could definitely benefit from some modernization a little bit. None of it really looks super accessible, though. Looks like there's plenty to do for kids and adults, so that's good. Location's good. 
fun is good. The quality for most everything looks to be pretty good. Maybe the tennis courts and the... Well, the soccer goals are like seasonal. They pull those out and then they put those away in storage. Anyway. Um, and the park itself seems to be pretty clean. So I'd probably give it like maybe 3.5 or 4 out of 5. That's the score you gave at Orchard Park. Okay, with Orchard Park, I would say maybe 2.5 or a 3 out of 5. Because there's really nothing to fucking do there. It's literally a big open fucking field with nothing. Not even orchards. So this is Liberty Park, and it was kind of short. Five minutes. Well, that's what the other two parks that I filmed. So hopefully you enjoyed this Ogden compilation. And we'll see you in the next one.